Let's take a look how to make circular halftone effect in Photoshop. First, you're gonna need to make it monochrome in order to observe the contrast. In my situation, it's already monochrome, but all you need to do is go to the adjustments, scroll down, and here you can see the black and white, click on it, and let's go back to the adjustments. Let's select the levels to adjust the contrast. I'm gonna make it even more contrasty, something like this. Let's go back to the adjustments, select the curves, and I'm gonna bring this little dot up here so it's gonna make the black color dark gray. Only like this way we can apply the halftone lines and I'm also gonna bring the opposite side a little bit more down. Let's go to the adjustment layers, select solid color, make it white, click OK. Right click on the color fill, convert to smart object, make sure that you're on black and white. Let's go to the filter, filter gallery. Let's go to the sketches, click on halftone pattern. And if I increase the size, you can see these little black squares. So I'm gonna switch off the pattern type from dot to circle and it's gonna make it circular. Now you can increase or decrease the size. I'm gonna increase all the way to max and the contrast I'm gonna decrease to zero. Click OK. I'm gonna switch up the blend mode from normal to multiply and I'm gonna reposition the circle somewhere here. And now of course I'm gonna need to readjust the circular lines. I'm gonna press Control T, press and hold Alt and scale it, double click release. So in my case, the image size is on 4,500 by 3,700. It's a larger image, so this is why these circles are nice and thin. If you have a smaller size image, and if you increase the circle size to max, you're gonna have really thick circles. So it depends on the size of your image, you can adjust the size of the circles here. From here, I'm gonna go back to the adjustments, scroll down and click on the threshold. And as you can see, it's gonna apply the strong contrast. You can move it around and I'm gonna move it all the way to the left until you can see in the black also these white circles and it has a pretty high contrast, which you can adjust also. I'm gonna scroll down, go back to the levels and I'm gonna pull this here. Check this out how good it looks. Go back to the adjustments, select the gradient map. I'm gonna switch up the colors. I'm gonna go with purple and the opposite side a light color. Click OK, click OK. Press and hold Shift, select all the layers, a right click, convert a smart object. And from here, we're gonna go to the filter, filter gallery, and we're gonna go to the texture and select the grain. I increase the contrast somewhere around 50, intensity is for me somewhere around 30, and go down, click on the plus, and go here to the sketch and select the stamp. I'm gonna decrease the smoothness to one. The light dark balance is gonna be somewhere around in the middle. Click OK, and look at that. Now we get a hypnotic retro poster here. And mainly this was it, thanks for watching.